I'm Gecko and I like snacks a lot as you would know if you have been on this channel before. So I bought myself the biggest box of Japanese snacks that I could possibly find and this has 75 items in and I'm gonna try a few with you guys today because I've had this for a while I haven't had the chance to open it so today is the day. If you also like snacks you should probably drop a subscribe just saying. So first things first this definitely has 75 things in but some of them are small so it, it doesn't count if i eat the whole box it's fine so the first thing from the box we're going to try is this strawberry taiyaki fish i've wanted to try these for so long i've been seeing them on tiktok and youtube and stuff this one feels a little bit crushed and i did want the chocolate one but this is randomized so i'll take the strawberry one. Oh, it's completely it is the fish is dead he is in pieces r.i.p fish I'm about to go out and buy a box of these. That is so good. I don't usually like strawberry flavor things, but that is, that's good. I would give that a solid 10 out of 10. I love anything wafer and that is top tier wafer. Also, I feel like I should mention that there is a leaflet. I'm just not reading it because I want to be surprised. This is from Sakura, Sa Sakura. It's from Sakura Box on Amazon. I think it was like 50 euro, which is kind of expensive, but there's a lot in it for that price. That's like the cheapest one I've found anyways. But this is the next thing. I have no idea what it is. He's eating noodles on the box. Oh, what? They look like dried ramen noodles. Maybe they are. Let me see it. Oh, salty very salty that's literally just like dry ramen noodles what i'm not complaining so i like ramen but dry ramen's a bit weird yeah i don't think i like it the texture is weird to me and like it's very salty probably like a three out of ten like i'd eat it if i had to but i don't think i'd willingly eat it so after the salty noodles i kind of want to try something sweet so there's like i think it's like a marshmallow and it has a little pudding on it so i'm guessing it's pudding flavored yeah it's just a normal like very flat marshmallow Oh, it's full of, it's like, custard. That was good. I liked that. I give that a solid, like, 8 out of 10. That was good. I've heard a lot about these. I think they're called a Maibo, but I've never tried one. And I also don't know what flavor it is, because obviously the flavor isn't on there in English. There's, like, 10 of these in this box, by the way. I just picked this one because it had pictures of chickens on. Oh, it smells very strongly of chicken. That's really good. It is, in fact, chicken flavored. I'd probably give that like a solid eight out of 10 as well. That was pretty good. I'd eat like quite a few of those. There's also like quite a few duplicates in this, but different flavors of the same thing. So I'm not gonna be trying all 75, but next up we have this, which is very interesting. It looks like a teeny tiny pastry. It kind of looks like a strudel. That's what it is. Oh, it's like sticky. Why is it sticky? I'm assuming it's filled with chocolate. That's pretty good. It's like dried out <laughs> croissant almost kind of, or like in between pastry and a biscuit, but that's pretty good. I'd give that like a solid seven out of 10. We have some, I think they're like crisps and they are pizza flavored. I've had pizza flavored crisps from Japan before and they were really, really good. I think they were the Calbi ones. We'll see if these are as good because the others were like a 10 out of 10. I actually had them in one of my other Japanese snack videos. So good. Probably the best snack from Japan I've ever had. So yeah, they're just little, little balls. They do smell like pizza. They're a very light crisp. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. You know, like the ones that are like 99% air, but they're good. They taste more like just mozzarella to me than actual pizza. I'd give these like a nine out of 10. I will be demolishing these after the video. Look at this. It's like a little train. Look at it, it's so cute. Yeah, they're just like Smarties or M&Ms. Good though, and they're really cute. I got a 10 out of 10 just because it's cute. I found another train, but it's a different kind of train. I don't know why there's so many trains, but I, I wanna have this one now. I think this is more chocolate, but it's like teeny tiny little chocolate balls. Yes, they're tiny chocolate balls with like a hard outer shell. I've had sweets like these before where it wasn't chocolate. It was like 
fruit flavored stuff, but I've never had like chocolate like that. Those are pretty good. Again, they are just chocolate though, so I'm just gonna give them like a seven out of 10. Also, I have given up on the like trying one salty thing, one sweet thing. I'm just grabbing whatever's on top at this stage. I'm pretty sure I've seen these before. I've never had them, but I'm pretty sure they're just like teeny tiny mochis. Speaking of mochis, here's my cat who is named Mochi. Look at the camera. Look, you're, you're, you're gonna be famous. No? Okay, she doesn't want to be famous. She's like in the box trying to get to the snacks. Maybe these aren't mochi. They're really good though. They have such like a unique texture that I don't even know how to describe. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a softer, more jelly-like starburst kind of. Those are really good though. Definitely not mochi. The next thing is this little like cookie, I think. Oh, I think it's his crown. Cause that looks like a king. And he's like pointing to his head being like, where is it? And it's that, I think that's his crown. Are we about to eat this poor man's crown? It's just like a little, little cookie. It's filled with chocolate, which I didn't expect. The chocolate's a little bitter, but I feel like Japanese chocolate in general is slightly more bitter. But I would give this a solid seven out of 10. So I'm dumb and forgot to charge my mic and it wasn't on for the rest of the video. One subscribe equals one prayer for my mic. The rest will be up on my TikTok and shorts with a voiceover soon. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless and don't forget to drop a like if you did. Bye!